Hey guys, so I'm back with another Philodendron Gloriosum update. It's been a while, um, so there's a lot of new things to see with, uh, with this plant. So we'll go ahead, walk through, I'll show you some new growth, a couple problems, or I guess really just one problem that I keep running into, and um, maybe some of you will have some suggestions or know how I can fix it. Uh, I apologize for not being on top of my updates, but you know, with work and just moving, um, you know, life gets busy. So it's really motivating to get comments and to hear people asking what's new, and that's honestly what motivated me to um, shoot this video. So that being said, please leave comments. Um, really appreciate it, and I really appreciate your feedback as well so as you can see this is what I mentioned in my last update it's just a sprout seeming to come out of nowhere um, so I think that this leaf here here and here are its own separate plant technically and these leaves have just been coming out beautifully that leaf is perfect this leaf is nearly perfect a little bit of burn or damage right there but other than that um, just beautiful and this leaf looks like it's going to be coming out unscathed and perfect as well these leaves um, are before I did my uh, cutting so that's why they're so massive you can see how big they are compared to a hand um, really big nice leaves a little bit of sunburn here and some more burn on the older leaves just because of where I had it sitting in the house. You can see where the sun got to it. Um, but this new plant here has been doing really nicely. It just put out a leaf. It's not the best leaf. It was a little crinkled up and I needed to give it a hand unfurling, which is why you see this damage right here. And um, the seam's just not fully developed or developed properly, but I have a new leaf, new growth forming right here. And so far it looks like it is forming properly and should be um, a nice new, and based on the size of this leaf, uh, I, I assume this new leaf will be quite large as well and hopefully the uh, unfurling will go a little bit smoother. So now we've covered those two things I wanna take you to my problem, which is this portion of the plant right here. You can see the, uh, the previous where I made the cutting and you have a new shoot growing right there. Um, all the leaves that have come from that plant have been troublesome. So let's see. This is the first leaf. And I take that back. This first leaf was nearly perfect, a little deformed, but then we go to the second leaf. The second leaf did not unfurl properly. I had to pretty much dig it out of the catafil um, in order to get it to emerge before the leaf rotted. So you can see where the leaf got torn up in that process. And you can see on the stem, if I can get the camera to focus, see right there, maybe from the other side where I actually had to go in and remove the leaf because it was growing inside the stem. See that, that scar tissue right there? That's where I had to cut that leaf out of and then unfurl it. Then I produced another leaf with the same issue. It wasn't unfurling from the catafil. Um, so again, I had to as gently as possible peel it out and you can see just the leaves get damaged every time I have to do that. This leaf is still fairly new and that's why it's light in color. But look, I've got a new shoot right there and it's doing the same thing. It's growing, get this out of the way. It's almost growing in the vine. Um, as you can see where this, this one is growing to the outside of the leaf. For example, this new shoot would be growing right here inside of the leaf. It's getting clustered and tight 
and it's just not having room to form properly. So see if I can maybe zoom in and get a good shot for you guys. You see how close that growth is? I don't know how to correct that. So if any of you viewers have any suggestions, please let me know because here's a really good shot. You can see how tight that growth is. And like it's, it's growing inside of itself rather than out. So um, if there's any suggestions on how I can fix that, you know, I would really appreciate it. But overall, I think the plant is doing well. Um, I'll put it up into its spot and show you where it usually rests. So it's gonna be a little tough to do with one hand. put it up here um, on the bookshelf and you can see I face the, um, the more sparse side towards this window that gets a lot of afternoon light um, so it's in some good indirect light so far the leaves seem to not be getting burnt or crisped up and um, yeah just like the way that it looks in the room so again let me know what you think Keep commenting because I really appreciate the motivation to make and post more videos and um, based on the comments and uh, reactions that I get, that will largely determine when the next update video comes out. Thanks again. Have a great day.